get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of Zapier, Atari, RxBar, Hint Water, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This is part of the IRCE e-commerce mastery series where top experts talk about what works to boost your e-commerce business. The internet retailer conference and exhibition, better known as IRCE, helps you stay ahead of your competition by bringing in some of the top e-commerce experts and companies from around the globe including today's guest. Uh, Our sponsor today is Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Rise25 hosts in-person VIP special events and masterminds for conferences and software companies so they can serve their highest level customers. Rise25 is a secret weapon for conferences and software companies to increase engagement, get more referrals, and build deeper relationships with their customers. Over the past year, we have hosted events in Austin, Chicago, Santa Barbara, San Diego, New York. We want to do Italy, Tommaso, at some point. And if your company sees the value of bringing your highest level customers together to connect and collaborate, learn more and find out if your community qualifies at Rise25.com. I am very excited. Today, we have the co-founder of Easy Ship, Tommaso Turbinati. I want you to pronounce it the correct Italian way, Tommaso. How do you properly pronounce your name in Italian. Hi, Jeremy. And thanks a lot for having me here. Tommaso, Easy Ship. How did you get the domain? That does, <laughs> was that taken? Yeah. That does not seem like it's a, uh, oh yeah, I'm just going to search GoDaddy and it's available. I uh, no, no, we started with Go, Go Easy Ship. Go Easy Ship, okay. Yeah, and it was amazing because people for the first uh, two years and a half, they were when we were calling them, we were like, uh, Ah, yeah, I'm having a meeting with Go Easy. <laughs> so, like, that's where we realized that if we wanted to keep this name, we had to buy a domain. Otherwise, our branding was non existing. The so people were calling Go Easy, other were calling us Easy Ship, other were calling us Go Easy Ship. So, um, and, and then, like, we, we bought the domain. Uh, it was obviously uh, expensive, but nothing prohibitive. Really? Uh, I think, yeah, I, yeah, I, I think it was like, uh, less than 15,000 US, one wow, five. Wow, I'm surprised. Yeah, I mean, since obviously there's a lot of money. But I would say it'd be at least like $50,000. I think it was around that amount of money, but yeah. uh, then uh, then it went down a bit. We, 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 we negotiated like, you know, I think already, yeah, 50, I, think already I think already what they sold it for, it was already good money for them. So it wasn't hard to go down compared to what they paid for. At what point in the business do you decide to invest in something like that? How far into... It was last year. It was but it was year, last okay. year in uh, in August. So we waited basically for three years. Okay. Got At it. the beginning, we think it did, it wasn't. I mean, it was important, but we didn't feel to spend that amount of money yeah. on a domain. Totally. Uh, then we started getting like a lot. Of, I mean, not a lot, but like some significant percentage of our traffic comes from organic and direct. So we said, okay, if you want to do it, we need to do it now. Totally. So we did it. What's yeah? I love it. Great domain. Um, what's Thank the future? You. Of Easy Ship, what are you working on now for the future? That's um, not top I think. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so um, let, let, let's make it. Let's make it an uh, um, inspire insider uh, uh, scoop. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so we just launched Australia. Uh, actually, we 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 didn't announce it yet. When we launched it like four days ago. Uh, so basically because we start getting like a lot, a lot of, uh, clients from there and we were kind of tired of saying, no, we are not there. Yeah. Uh, so we launch, uh, yeah. And then I think the, we launch, we will work into launch Canada soon. So we start, we, we're getting a lot, a lot of traction from the States. Uh, a lot of companies uh, are, start, uh, are using us there and more like Canadian businesses are asking for it. So given the proximity of the market is, I think is a no brainer launch there. So we should expect to, to, to be live there in, uh, in, in a couple of months. Was there any one market, Tommaso, that was harder to, from a technology standpoint, to execute on? I think Australia was pretty complex. It was. 
Uh, yeah, it's really complex because it, they, it works in a way that it's very different from how um, Asia or US works. Uh, like they, so it's very technical. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna maybe, maybe like, like be a bit boring, but like the, the region, um, of the, so the algorithm works in a way that we, uh, get an origin, uh, place and a destination place and then you compare all the rates. Uh, but the problem is that the region, uh, in Australia is not based on zip code, uh, or, uh, or state or city is based on, uh, on suburbs. Hmm. So, so it's a so completely different to, infrastructure. Yeah, different infrastructure. It's, it's a very amazing different how many nuances there are to all of these places. Um, oh yes, it's, it's it's incredible. Imagine that if you so we, we are not there, but like imagine if you, for example, we go to Vietnam, you will see that they don't have zip codes, and and they don't have. How zip do people codes. get any packages? <laughs> uh, so I don't know. So I remember when, when until until a couple of years ago, uh, you you would see on the addresses like something like I don't know Green Street. Uh, uh, actually, no, sorry, they don't have they don't have street number, so they have the zip. They don't have street number, so you will see something like Green Street next to the <laughs> shoes uh, store that sells uh, Nike. So that's amazing. like where your hometown, Beautiful. a small hometown, just like yeah, just in my hometown can work. That person's house, <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> yeah. So and, you know, every I mean, there are like, I would say like around seven or eight different infrastructure yeah. that you need to do. That's to, not that accurate. <laughs> Drop it off next yeah, to the Nike no, store. Forget about address validation. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> um, so I always, first of all, Tommaso, thank you for taking the time. I know it's really late Hong Kong time, and I really appreciate it. Everyone should check out EasyShip.com, especially because they've acquired the domain um, from Good Negotiation. It's a great domain, EasyShip.com. Check them out. Um, I always ask Tommaso, because it's Inspired Insider, what has been the lowest moment and how you push through for the business and then on the flip side we'll talk about the the proudest moment what's been a low moment from this journey uh i think uh a low moment was um when uh, um, we had one uh, um i think that the first really like key person that left the company mm. um it, 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 it was really because especially we were like in very few people we were like 10 people the first year and I think we weren't like uh, we weren't ready for this and uh, um, we started like I remember like me with, with my with my partners like sitting down one weekend and really thinking like is there anything we're doing wrong because I think that the challenge we have ahead uh, are incredible and if you if you are uh, motivated like this person that left is, uh, I think this should be already like keep you very interested. So there has to be something else uh, that pushes this person to leave. And and, and, I, and I think that it was the beginning. It, it, it was a really good uh, turning point because what did you we stopped. So I think that in general it was it was because we were still at a stage where everything was run by by the three of us. Because you were like 10 people. So, you know, you're still very small and everything. Else. But I think that this person wanted to have some more exposure. And the company was still not big enough. And not, not that now we are big. But it was not big enough to have this layer of management. Um, so what we did is that we waited a couple of months. We didn't hire just for the sake of, of having a company. Uh, we waited a couple of months. And once we started getting a bit more people... Uh, we we started the 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 PM project, so the product the, the, the project manager, not the product manager, the project manager. So basically, we identified those three people uh, at the beginning that we want them to build uh, mm. teams. We want them to build the foundation. Um, yeah. you kind and of I think it was really you were gonna you were they were gonna be the foundation leadership team, yeah. and that empowered them. Exactly, and I think that was really interesting because. Everybody saw that then it was possible, you know, to get 
promote it, to build, to have the chance to build a team. Because you know, when you when you join a startup, you join because you want to get exposure. You, you, you don't join for anything else. If you will go to a corporate, maybe you will have a small team and with very limited decision making. So you want to go to a startup because say I want to build my team and I want to learn about leadership and I want to to to, to get to to have the chance to try new stuff. So you need to give it to them. Otherwise, then it's not a, it's not a fair deal. Mm-hmm. And right? so that was a big moment that you guys had to figure out, and that helped figure out kind of the the foundational infrastructure of how you were going to build the company. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So on the flip side, yeah, what's been a proud moment? I think when we won the the prize for best uh, company for tech in Asia. Uh, the first year, uh, it was huge. Like um, it was, it was, it was one of the happiest moments uh, because uh, you know you are competing in a in a place that is not yours. So you are you are away from your home. You don't know anybody, and you start. And I remember that we were in the final with one of the companies. Actually, we were uh, really looking at as one of like, oh my god, can you believe one day we're also gonna have these things like they do. And then we and then we beat them in final, so so you were then, then I mean, it sounds like. yeah, I was surprised. I was surprised. I mean, I I, I I I was there to win. I didn't go there to to totally. to, to do for to, to go for a journey. But you know, I, I, the, the level was pretty high, so uh, I I would I would totally understand if I didn't win. Um, but but then but then it was it was a great moment. And I remember like I remember that I, I took a whole, like a terrible flight at. Um, uh, 2 a.m. from from Singapore, so that, so that I didn't have to buy a hotel, so I could like sleep mm. on the plane and be back in Hong Kong at 6 a.m. And so I remember that I went I went out uh, partying, and it was the after the after conference. So it was it was really weird because I had I had my trophy with me, and I was going from bar to bar with my trophy, talking to people. <laughs> and actually, it, it, it was it was it was awesome. And then like straight to, and then actually I had a couple of friends from my from my uh, ex company coming over, and uh, and and then like uh, I went to the airport, and it, it, it was a really happy moment. It's you like, know, I think that in general, like for every everybody, you not know, obviously not just us, like when when even now. You try 100 things and like 80 don't work. Uh, so you, you need to live for that one out of 100 that is working very well. And you need to be able to celebrate that. Otherwise, there is no point in what you're doing. Totally. Yeah. No? Oftentimes, we just don't celebrate those wins when they come. Yeah. Yeah, we do the same thing. I think like we, for example, uh, when we launched Australia, we had like some pizza at the office. We had like a bottle of wine. Uh, that's it. And then actually the next morning we're like, guys, we screw up last night. We should have like celebrated more. You know, you don't you don't open a country every day, you know. Right. I mean there's totally. been so much food behind. If you forget to celebrate, hmm. we there is no point. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. It was like you carrying around the, the World Cup trophy from bar to bar. Right? It's still at the yeah, and now it's at the office. Right. Next time, if you come into Hong Kong, I uh, we, we 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 see that. All right, definitely. I want a picture with it. I want to drink beer out of it. Um, we drink out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Tomazo, thank you so much. Everyone, go to easyship.com. If you're going to any of these conferences, um, check out EasyShip. Go up and say hello. And uh, Tomazo, thanks again. Jeremy, thanks a lot. It was uh, an amazing conversation. Yeah, likewise. Thank you very much. <laughs> let me know when you come to Hong Kong. I will. I will and, let you know when I come to New York. Well, like, I'm gonna see you in Chicago. In actually, uh, yeah, in so a month and a half. There. So yeah, I'll and if you pass by it. New York, let, let let me know. We can visit our office there in Dumbo, in Brooklyn. Well, definitely. Huh? Excellent. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See lights like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.